my dear friends today i am going to teach about a small example how to enter this transactions in tally see this is generalize the following transactions of rama so this is first you have to create a company in the name of rama as on 14 say january 2004 2004 january 1 so start with uh, say example 14 2013 like that then first transaction is rama commenced be commenced a business with cash that is a capital he is bringing the cash capital into his business so this is you have to enter in receipt voucher create one uh, ledger name capital slash rama account like that otherwise just say put capital account say capital account credit cash account debit then next voucher is this is you have to enter in receipt entry then next is paid to paid into bank this is cash deposit to bank is bank account so this is you have to enter in contra entries purchased goods by check that is is uh, purchasing goods so instead of party you have to put the bank name then drew cash from bank for office use so he is withdrawing the money 3000 from bank for office use purpose so this is you have to enter in payment voucher next on january 15th purchased goods from shiva so this is a credit purchase you have to enter in purchase voucher the name of party supplier is shiva that comes under group sundry creditor then cash sales 30000 so there are two ledgers cash and sales cash is already default ledger sales is you have to create pay to shiva so cash is paid to shiva shiva is a supplier towards purchase of goods is paying to shiva 14750 this is you have to pay enter in payment voucher discount received 250 this is uh, you can enter in receipt voucher as cash receipt paid rent 500 paid salaries 2500 these two or enter in payment vouchers first of all you have to create a company rama so we start to uh, create a company with in the name of rama so go here tally create a company r a m b a rama india say tamil nadu example say here accounts only because there is no stock here say numbers quantity they have not given the quantity so that <coughs> here choose accounts only then 2004 january 1st that is 2003 and 4 account so from 2000 april 2003 to 31st march 2004 so 14 2003 14 2003 like that you have to create this is also same so next step is create the ledgers for each transaction first of all create a ledgers then you have to enter in vouchers to create ledgers press escape key to come to gateway of tally go to accounting info ledgers 
go here multiple ledgers at a time you can create all the ledgers all items here Rama comments at business with cash that is a capital account capital account under group capital capital comes always under group capital account paid into bank say bank account SBI whatever it is this is under comes bank accounts and we paid bank bank account debtor to cash account cash is already in uh, tally that is you need not to create a uh, cash again cash ledger again that's a default ledger then purchase goods by check so here purchase account debtor to bank account check means bank so bank is already we have created so purchase you have to create purchase account under group purchase accounts don't forget purchase comes under purchase then next is cash due from bank for office use so cash account data to bank account so cash is already in tally bank account just we have created this is not necessary then purchase good from Siva so purchase account already created Siva you have to create it Siva is sundry credit or see when we buy goods from the supplier the suppliers comes under groups and the credit or then cash sales cash already we have the we have the ledger in tally sales we have to create the sales sales under group sales you have to note down this groups which ledger comes under which group that is capital comes capital bank account comes bank account purchase account comes purchase accounts supplier Siva is under Sunday creditor sales comes under sales accounts then discount received discount is a income say discount account indirect income next thing is paid rent rent is an expense say create rent account under group indirect expense then salaries salaries comes under indirect expense that's it we have created all the ledgers here now second step is we have to enter those transactions with the date and amounts in vouchers accounting vouchers press escape key escape key to come to gateway of tally again press escape key accounting vouchers say this is Rama commenced business with cash this is a receipt voucher go here first we have to enter the date 2004 January 1 date here 1st January 2004 1st January 2004 this is the date say this is a receipt when the amount bring into capital that comes a receipt cash is coming into the business that is a receipt say cash account here enter capital account 30,000 Mrs. Rama bring capital into his business this is the narration now paid into bank 2nd January 2nd 
this is a control say here enter the bank account here enter the cash account <coughs> here enter 21000 cash paid to bank or cash deposit to bank that's it next one is purchase goods by check so through the bank he is buying the goods this is enter in purchase voucher on uh, january 3rd go here purchase date third one third january here enter the supplier name supplier name is bank through the bank he is buying say 15000 say bank we have already deposited 21000 for this he is buying uh, goods 15000 so the balance is 6000 then purchase account this is not not applicable press here this is not applicable this is also not necessary say enter just you have to make some correction in this ledger control enter cost center not applicable no that's it being purchased goods through bank that is the narration next thing is uh, next transaction is drew cash that is cash withdrawn from bank for obvious use this is also contra go to here contra the date is 7th 7th of january here enter cash here bank please note this when we deposit cash you have to enter here bank in account field enter cash here particular field when you withdraw cash enter here cash under particulars enter the bank account amount is 3000 cash withdrawn from bank for office use that is over next 15th is purchase goods from Siva so go here payment purchase voucher enter the date is 15th date 15th January here enter Siva Siva 14,000 sorry 15,000 This is purchase narration goods purchase from Siva. This is over then cash sale. Go here sales enter here cash party means cash then sales account sales amount is 30,000 of an hour enter disable this cost center So we can use this as voucher instead of invoice because we have no comma quantity like that. Use as voucher. Debit to cash, credit to sale account. Being purchase sold.
goods on cash see sorry narration is wrong sold goods g o o d s goods that's okay fine discount received 250 this is you can enter in receipt voucher the date is uh, 25 date is 25 cash account discount 250 that's it this is you can enter this press control on control enter to alt the ledger cost center not required that's it then paid rent on 31st 31st paid means payment cash rent 500 this cost center is a headache so control enter on this ledger then here no 500 paid rent then salary is 2000 31st same date cash salaries 2000 this also you have to disable this cost center paid salary that's it so cash purchase cash sale is 20 date i think i have how to change the date uh, change the date of voucher i will tell you go to day book select a period from 1 sorry period day book then period 1 1 2 31st one cash sale is cash sale date is 20 so here 20 that's it thank you for watching the tv watching this video in next uh, how to view the ledger i will tell you go to display escape key then display account ledger say siva 15000 we have to pay because of purchase goods from siva thank you